It's a criminal act, Harry. What criminal act, Bill? Keep people working? That's what you yourself said this morning, isn't it? To keep people working? Is it a criminal act to try to hang on to 15 years of hard work? What the hell was our dream? To meet a payroll and not a paycheck. Wasn't that the dream? That was the big slice of the pie. Everybody in this whole goddamn country dances around the law, Phil. So what's a criminal act, you tell me? So the end justifies the means. Well, that's what they got up in the scoreboard, baby. That's the way they play it. Who's yeah, they? We're they. And there are rules. That's wrong. You see me. No more rules, just referees. And no room out there for losers. Believe me, you and me out in that street again? Why, Christ, where, where, what would we do? Where would we go? We're up. So you want logic, Phil. And there is no ministry of logic in this country. Performance used to count, right? For 15 years, we met our obligations with the same unions, the same mills, the same bank. But today, all they care about is the bottom line on a passbook, and then some goddamn machine gives you a bum credit rating. So history doesn't count anymore. It's our place, Phil. We don't get down on our knees to anybody. You expect me to buy that crap? For Christ's sakes, Harry, don't you understand? It's people like us, people in the middle that made this country work. And, and when, when, when people like ourselves get into this, this kind of thing, it, it, it takes it all down. That's what's ripping the country. Son of a bitch, don't you sell America to me. I've got friends over there sitting under the sand with bikinis on their heads. I used to get goosebumps every time I looked at that flag. When, when I was a kid sitting alone in the room playing the radio, if they ever played the national anthem, I stood up all alone in the room. I stood up at attention. Don't sell me America. Now they're making jock straps out of the flag. Maybe it's terrific. Maybe it's healthy. I don't know. I don't know, boy, but I do know there are no more rules. It stinks, Harry. the business, you got the accounts, you made it work. Don't call me boss. How's everything looking? I, I don't, don't want to talk about the line. Maya, I need Rico and I need you. Now, what do you want me to say? Harry, <clears throat> I'm old. I can't be in the playpen with Ferris even talented fairies. You have a job here, you die. But you need Rico. Tell me to get out. I don't want you out. Oh, what do you want? Come on, tell me. I'm listening. I'm an old stone. Tell me, what do you want? <laughs> Another season. That's all, another season? Just survival? No dreams, no hope? Hope? You better ask the little old lady in Vegas with a Dixie cup full of nickels. She still has hope. She's still looking for the three cherries. I'm sorry, mother. I'm sorry for you. You're sorry for me? You've spent most of your life running. From pogroms, Nazis, bent over a machine. What the hell have you got? I have my craft, my work, 
and a woman. Old, but still lovely. I like to look at her, to listen to her talk. So sweet. And it's every day. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Now get out of here. <clears throat> Let me work. I'll deal with the ferry. We've had our talk. Go to your mansion. Go to your Mexican cook. Go and speak Spanish to your Mexican cook. For Christ's sake, Maya. Go home, Harry. Get some sleep. Yeah. Okay. Good night, Harry. Good night, Maya.